going live. Hi friends, it is Janie Backer with Inspired Stamping and welcome to Stamping Chat on Tuesday with Janie. Just getting everything set up here to chat and stamp with you. Um, love it if you'd leave a comment and say hello to me. I'm just going to pull it up on my computer and turn off my sound so it doesn't take over. So we are going to be working with the Well Suited Suite and okay there's the video, there's comments. So just jump in and say hello, please. And let me know, are you a bow tie person or a necktie person? There we go, you can put that in the comments. Bow tie or necktie. So. Hi Sandy, I think I think that's Sandy that I see. Welcome. So we're working with the well suited suite today. And it's a little tongue twister to say suited and sweet because they're spelled almost the same. So these are really super cute in our January June mini catalog. You can see all these fun products. So there's a bundle with this stamp set and then the coordinating dies for cutting with your Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine. And then it also includes this Baker's Twine, which is basic gray and knight of navy. And then this really fun, well-suited designer series paper which has great plaids and stripes and awesome Hawaiian print and paisleys and some really great colors. So we are going to be stamping and creating with this suite today. I am adding in the comments some of my products for, most of the products for today's list, uh, I mean projects. So you can grab those product numbers. My host code for this half a month is listed here if you're going to be placing an online order and would like to receive the tutorial bundle I offer or some sample card kits. Okay, so this is... Let's see, let me find the card. I'll start with this one. So this card uses the designer series paper and basic black cardstock. And then I have a sentiment label cut out of Oops, got my Stamparatus pulled out here. Oh, pardon me. Oh, it looks like, did I put all the stamps away? I have to find my stamps. Well, it looks like my, um, Stamp got put away from my wonderful little template that I had for stamping, so that's all right. We'll work with it. So we're gonna use Memento Black ink, and add our stamp to an acrylic block. This is one of the paper pumpkin acrylic blocks. So we're just gonna lay it down here, and piece of grid paper. So 
So we're going to put, I like to use the grid paper if I'm stamping to help me eyeball how to line things up. So those grids use the lines for the words. Let me find, there we go. So we'll ink it up. Our memento ink is on a felt pad, so it needs to be pressed into the ink a little more firmly than our standard pads. So trying to keep this on the screen, lift it up there. So I'm just gonna use this black line to line up the word Father's Day across and press and hold for a second. And that's gonna work. So this is our card base and you always fold the score line the mountain into the middle. So I like to line up those edges and then press along the score line. I am a fan of liquid glue. So our designer series paper is going to get a thin, Stripes of glue. Going to watch my margin on that spine edge and top to bottom. And then when it looks straight, press down. extra die cuts from preparing my cards. So I'm also going to attach a layer of this basic white cardstock to the inside. And I just put a little strip at the top edge and add it in here so that your greeting has a nice space for writing. I ended up with several extras of these cute bow ties. So we stamped them onto the DSP and cut them out. Again, I'm just gonna add a little bit of glue and add it to the interior. Somehow I've misplaced several of my stamps. Okay, so now we have our stamp and dimensionals, which are double-sided foam and gives your card some pop. So we're just gonna take one for each corner. peel the backing right off. And stick it right about high center. So this is a tutorial that I got from my friend Rhonda Wade. And we made these at my team meeting and my team loved them. We had so much fun. That up. Well, this is good for me to see that some stuff is missing from these kits. 
Um, like the twine. It was here. <laughs> Mandy, do you see another bucket over there? I was just looking. I don't, I don't see. Oh my goodness. Um, So weird. I just went through these. Can you check the green one over there? Yes. It might have stuff in it. Okay, so next you would always you would attach a twine bow right on there if you like. Or you can leave it. Um, either way is fine. Depending upon what you prefer. Stamps and twine? No. Okay, I thought I cleared it out. Oh, maybe that's what I did. Trying to clean up, and I clean myself up into disorganization. <laughs> no, no. Okay, so we're going to do this card next. And this one uses the Stamparatus to stamp these bow ties. So we're going to, and I have my template here. And on the template, so I just put cardstock around and we'll add the plate to where it goes. And grab the next card kit for this one. <laughs> there it is. Okay. So it has designer series paper. This is the side that we're using. That is the back side. And then this is the bow tie portion and the layer that goes behind it. And we also have our little piece of, I mean, card base and our sentiment piece, which are smoky slate. So we're going to go ahead and put our bow tie layers here and I like to support the plate so it's not putting pressure on the hinges excessively okay so we're just gonna stamp ink all over these tie stamps and swing it right over and press into place and just kind of massage over the images as the ink transfers and an earthquake of me shaking the camera happens and there we go ta-da two images done at one time so we'll take our glue and adhere the ties. Remember, a really thin layer of glue. Onto the basic black layer. There we go. Oh, this is one of the boo boos. Sometimes when you have teenagers help you prepare for class, they um, aren't attentive. Okay, where it is? It's not this late. And make mistakes. So, we're going to cut another piece quick and easy here because sometimes it's helpful to tell people how to make their card bases. So for a card base like this, first you would score it at four and a quarter. Then you cut your sheet of cardstock in half at five and a half. So right there at five and a half, not the score. 
Make sure it's nice and straight and square. And then you have your two card bases. So we'll go ahead and fold that in half. We're going to adhere the DSP right here onto the card base. And then we're watching for those margins, top, bottom, and the left side. And then I like to use my dimensionals again to pop up the tie images. And this is longer, so we're going to add some in the middle here. And down there. So the four corners and the two middle sections. And then just offset it and attach it right onto your card front. And we're using this You're the Best sentiment onto our little strip right here. And then we're going to die cut around it. But first we'll wipe off with a chamois. So welcome everybody that is um, just popping in. I realized that there's maybe a few more people here than I realized. Um, oh, hi, Betsy. Yes, it's important to always have a man's card available, I agree. Um, you never know when you're gonna need it and it's good to have it in, on hand. So on these cards, I used um, some of the Tasteful Labels and Hippo and Friends labels for my sentiments, if that's sets you're not used to. Oh, heavens. I have them stacked here on the floor. All these supplies were sitting underneath another bin. Good grief. Isn't it fun to craft with Janie? <laughs> Okay, so I do seem to have lost my dies. Well, let me look really quick. Nope, there they are. It's actually where they belong. See, organization. So this stamp set, Suit and Ties, has all these really cute dies. And then this great sentiment that fits <laughs> right around you're the best. So I am going to run this through my stamp and cut and emboss machine off to the side so that I don't make you all seasick because um, it really shakes and shimmies. Get it lined up. So I just ran it through and out it popped, quick and easy. And for this card, I'm going to use our mini Stampin' and Dimensionals. They are significantly smaller and perfect 
for these smaller areas. So you can see the size difference between these are great for different applications. I like to just fold them and they pop out like that. Quick and easy to grab. We have three in place. Well, hi, Kathy, are you at work today? I'm sure you're laughing because you've already made all these at our team meeting. So let's see, we're gonna attach it right in there. There it is, card number two. So let me grab one more card. And I'm not seeing my sample, but you'll just make it with me and be surprised. So this label comes from, let's see, is it the hippo? It is. Hippo and Friends. It's one of these shapes that I die cut. And... I am going to stamp with, we are going to use Happy Birthday to You, which is part of the Handsomely Sweeted stamp set. This is a Knight of Navy cardstock and Tasteful textures, embossing folder on this layer, and some DSP. We're going to put all together. So I'm going to get my grid paper out again, add my label onto here. I think, uh, I think I'll go with the top and left dark lines. Tap, tap, tap to ink up. Let's see, let's practice on our grid paper and see. All right, so we need to just tap a little more around. And then we're going to put that right in place. Oh, that's nice that you get to have a Tuesday off. Nice to enjoy the beautiful weather. Traffic is crazy today, but be a nice day if you like to get some yard work done. Okay, so we're also going to take our Stampin' Blends and color this bow tie. I'm gonna start with the light Knight of Navy Stampin' Blends. And just fill in around there. And then come in again. And then fill in the middle. <laughs> there we go. Just finish out those lines so that the color is even. There we go. Okay, so now finish folding that card base in half. We are going to attach the embossed layer first. see thin layers on the outside I got a little thicker in the middle there and then put this in place so we've had excitement if you um, 
some of you are on my personal page. I know not everybody is, but we have a sunroom that was um, off the back of our house that they added on sometime in the 80s, um, way before we lived here. Anyway, it has large um, windows that are about three feet wide and seven feet tall. And we had a rock fly up when my husband was mowing yesterday as his guess could have been while he was weeding. Anyway, it was while he was doing yard work, a rock went flying and hit one of the windows. Fortunately, they are double paned. And so the rock broke the outside pane and it's all shattered and still in its frame. And he's a good fast thinker. He's extremely handy and smart about these things. So he got tape on it. Sorry, apparently the internet bleeped out. So, hopefully we're all connected again. So anyway, hubby got it all taken care of. So now we're going to use our small Stampin' Dimensionals again. And we're going to put one on either end of the bow tie. So, a friend in the window business, or glass business, is coming to look at it and let us know what we're going to do to fix it. We have Mr. Bowtie right there. Cute. And then because it is so dark, you want to use a basic white card liner on the inside so that your greeting can be written on the white layer. And there we go. Nice masculine card, not frilly, very sedate. Again, that is the Hippo and Friends labels that I cut out for that sentiment. And then uh, the Tasteful labels are also used on some of the other cards. So we are going to go ahead and make the next card. And this is Smoky Slate again. Let me clean up my stamp area. And Basic Gray is also used with the Tasteful Textures embossing folder. And then using the designer series paper from Well Suited. These are the really cute bow ties that we stamped on the Well Suited designer series paper and then cut. This is the label from Tasteful Labels. It's this one right here. Okay, so again, we're going to line this up. I'm trying to center these corners onto the dotted line there so that that line kind of goes in the middle. And now we're going to use our Memento ink pad again. And it's Have a Happy Father's Day, Handsome. There we go. And that looks great. See how your grid paper helps you line up sight lines? and helps you center it. Grid paper, it really is a tool in our tool chest of card making. Okay, so this card base opens the other direction, but when it stands up, it'll stand nice and not slide. So we'll go back to our liquid glue again. And get that glue attached. 
This stamp set and bundle is really great for all guy cards. And it's not floofy or too formal, it's fun. Isn't that pattern vivid? So fun. But I knew that I wanted this card to be a little more calm, sedate. I think that's the word, sedate. There we go. Let's grab our dimensionals again. Oh, they're right there. So I'm going to put one here and one on that end, one at the top and the bottom. And I'm just going to center it right on that line, just like that. Well, hi, Greta. I'll bet you're on your lunch hour. Thanks for popping in. Okay, so now our bow tie is going to get some dimensionals as well. And I'm going to give him three this time. And then just pop it right up there. And our Father's Day card is ready. All these little backings have some static to them, so they don't want to move. So that is card number four. So let's just check these out again. So we have You're the Best, which is great for Father's Day as well. Or it could be um, maybe a promotion or could be a happy birthday as well. And then we do have our happy birthday card. And then we have our other Happy Father's Day Handsome, which now that I have found my Baker's Twine, we can add a little bow on the front, like so. Okay, pull that tail back, grab my special scissors. So now you can add a little Baker's twine bow on the corner there. Kind of finishes it off, makes it look a little fancier. Just add that there with a glue dot and we're good to go. So, if you have been wondering what you're going to make for Father's Day, I hope these cards give you some ideas and some solutions for your Father's Day stamping and crafting. Got some great basic gray and smoky slate to inspire you with our well-suited suite of products. So remember you have your stamps and your dies and the designer series paper which you can see on all of these cards as well as these twines. So handy. Um, the dies Lots of versatility here. And then I added the tasteful labels and the Hippo and Friends um, labels and dies so that I could use more sentiment labels from these, these die sets just to fit around these beautiful sentiments. There's also to one of the world's greatest dads, which is a cute card that I seem to have lost. Um, or I may have already sent it out because you know what? It's a good idea to send cards too. <laughs> when I make them, it's good to send them. So if you're in 
the mood to do some crafting for Father's Day, just go to inspiredstamping.com. This is my host code for this month. So you can order your products and I can send you a thank you. Those dies are so cute. Or if you are thinking to place an order of $100 or more, then you should check out our starter kit promotion, which for $99 you get to select $155 a product to put in your starter kit. You get free shipping, and then you'll get a 20% demonstrator discount on your future orders so that you will um, enjoy your products at a discount. So look at the comments for the product list and the promotion links. And let me know if you have any questions. I'm happy to help you and get you started stamping for Father's Day and the other occasions in your life. So thank you so much for joining me. Everybody have a great week. I'll see you again next week. And it will be a different type of, oh, by the way, a different type of um, stamp and chat with Janie because actually, ladies, I won't be here. I will be on the airplane going to Hawaii. I thought I could talk to you from Hawaii, but I'll be on the airplane, which is going to be complicated for chatting. Um, I thought I could just check in with you and chat and show you some fun stamping up stuff in person, but I'll be on the pl plane. So I will have to connect with you um, maybe on Wednesday of next week, but I will post an image of when the live will be, and I hope that you'll pop in and join me and we can connect. Okay, you all have a great week and pray for my sanity while I pack and talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.